In this edition of Tech Talks, we'll learn how to stop inner VLAN communication in a 350 series switch. Stay tuned, we'll tackle that next. For today's demonstration, we will be using the SX350X switch. The criteria for inter-VLAN routing is to create multiple switch virtual interfaces, or SVIs. We'll go to the IP configuration tab and choose the IPv4 interface. Then, we'll enable IPv4 routing. In this case, we have created the VLAN interface and IP interface for VLAN 2 and VLAN 3 statically. We'll also need to make sure these VLAN interfaces are enabled, which can be verified under VLAN management in VLAN settings. We'll need to connect at least one PC or any type of host on a particular VLAN so that our status is enabled. Our inter-VLAN is working, making it possible for VLAN 2 to VLAN 3 to communicate. We can verify that by pinging the remote PC. To stop the communication between these hosts, we'll need to use the access role option. We'll go to the access control section and choose IPv4 based ACL. We now must create the access control expression or ACE. As you can see, we have created a rule in order to block communication between VLAN 2 and 3. We can apply that either on the ACL binding VLAN or port. In this case, we'll apply it on the VLAN. Now, before applying, we can see that the communication between VLAN 2 and VLAN 3 is happening. We can choose to add the access rule in the ACL binding VLAN interface, and once we apply that access rule, the communication between the two will stop. This way, we can stop the communication between VLAN 2 and VLAN 3 for any specific host or subnet. In this page, we can also set our default action as deny or permit. This will either block or allow all other traffic. This is how to use access rules to help restrict any communication or inter-VLAN communication between different VLANs or hosts. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.